Okay, I told you I had a surprise. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, hi. hi. There's Lee and Amy. Hi, Donna and Nancy. Good Na to see you. <laughs> Hello. Lisa. Let's see, Donna, Donna, Nancy, I told you I wasn't going to forget about you. <laughs> yeah, we had a wonderful time. Yeah, great visit. V great visit. Um, we were, what, uh, what, Holy Tacos? Holy, yeah, Holy Lake. Taco, Lake Oswego. Right. And I'm headed toward, I'm headed toward uh, Seattle. Yeah, and then from there back to Chicago, but I just had to do this riding the train man. Riding, what a trip. I know I, I know love but it. but thank you so much Oh, you're Lisa, welcome. Amy. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank you for reaching it. out to us. Right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, you know Don't you I'm, have it on your phone? I know not not that one uh, But because I'm holding the hand the one guy over here another guy over here and the one guy over here is Jesse Jackson mm. and The other guy over here is Andrew Young Oh yeah, yeah. So Andrew. you know, it was one of those things that we, we were we were regularly marching. Um, I, I I can show you one of the one of the pictures, but um, but that's the kind of stuff that I ended up we ended up doing as a family. We did not do the Selma march because um, my sister Carla got chicken pox, so we couldn't we didn't do the Selma march. But uh, and her and her dad did. Uh, but uh, so we but we were regularly out there because as a we, there was a great deal of privilege being a college on a college campus, yeah, right. and uh, there was That's an right. expectation that you would use that privilege to help the people around you and, and other folks. So that's what we did as as early as I can imagine. I mean, Dr. King and others, and we were talking about this the other day, uh, Dr. King and others, adults, made it clear that our job as adults was to make things better for the people who came after us. Yes. yes. And so that's what we did. Yeah. Well, it's so very true. I mean, not only as an individual, but as a group of people, not only doing what you can for you, but I think in turn it helped everybody else as well. Because, you know, we have a different perception, but when we hear stories or obviously grew up, I grew up in the Detroit area, suburb of Detroit and everything. I was way too young to hear about all of that, but what I remember a lot about is Rosa Parks. Oh yeah. Sure. You know, coming from Alabama and, so, and going, going you know, up in, uh, up in Detroit. Yeah. Uh, there's a picture, there's a book about the Highland uh, program, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a picture with Rosa Parks, Dr. King, um, I think Ralph David Abernathy, uh, and um, uh, uh, Pete Seeger. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, was that all the singer? Yeah. Yeah. All, all of, all, this, they're, they're, they're standing outside the Highland uh, facility to talk about the fact that they were all working, trying to work together. I just wanted to show you the beautiful artwork that Senator Frederick's wife did, and she gave these original pictures to me. These particular ones pertain to the unrest in Portland um, I think during 2020 and you remember when the moms got in front of the police and uh, they were all in yellow and uh, this is when I don't know if you can recognize it but this these are the federal troops who came and when they were taking people off the streets and putting them in unmarked cars and whisking them off this is um, the tear gas that was going on through the Black Lives Matter. Lou Frederick's wife's name is Melody. Wonderful woman, Melody. And here, Black Lives Matter. And she gave me these as a gift. Let me show you a couple of quick these things here. Yeah. These are, that's, um, that's, uh, this, in the middle of the, the tear gas. Now I got tear gas downtown uh, in 2020. As oh, well. really? Tear gas and also the, the pe pepper pellets that they would fire. Mm -hmm. And I was I was a block away from, uh, and they would just they would just fire down the uh, down the street. And then there's um, this one that she took of the of the feds. Unmarked, right? Yeah, unmarked, unmarked, and 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 grabbing people off the street mm -hmm. and taking them to a, an undisclosed location. And, mm -hmm. and um, were, were and you watching that? I didn't see that. But I, I was there when they were doing it, but I did you not see, see that, that take place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's such a horrific event, and you know, yep. part of history now. Yeah. Um, 
hopefully will continue to learn something. But those are really beautiful to capture. She gave them to me. Those, that image. I mean, these are my gifts. That and then she has she has a, another set of things in here that we haven't opened, but there, um, Melody decided to do a, a coloring book of Oregon. Oh, so really? she's yeah. got different spots in Oregon mm -hmm. and different animals that are. Um, Native or indigenous or so One thing I really appreciated because I did speaking engagements all over the country, but went down to Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, did you really? And uh, you know, I usually like to take a few days just to you yeah. know see. Of course, yeah. Birmingham, Alabama right, right. was huge yeah, yeah. as a historical, and then continues they to be. To but going to the Civil Rights Museum in Birmingham, I, yeah, yeah, I thought it just like yeah, it. it just gave me so much more depth yeah. and history because yeah. you know I was only like two, four years old when yeah. a lot of the civil rights stuff happened and everything. The other thing I did um, was uh, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, most people, oh he's a fighter, he's a fighter. Well we took the American Queen uh, riverboat ride and we ended up on the whole Ohio River I think, yeah. And ended up in Cincinnati, and you know my family wanted to go to the Muhammad Ali Museum. I'm like, what for? I don't need to know about a boxer. Yeah. But I thought, oh my gosh. Yes. So much history. Yeah. Utilizing what you do or whatever. Yeah. And it's to me, I felt so sad because yeah. I never knew that really about him. Granted, I was young, yeah. but the depth on how he used what he did yes. to make change and yes. um, make a difference and yes. stuff. It's yeah. Yeah. He was extraordinary. Did I met, you meet him? Met him when I was about twelve. He came to came to Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, and he was uh, uh, walking around he the was neighborhood. Cute too. Walking, <laughs> walking around the neighborhood. I wouldn't know about the house. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, he he certainly told everybody he was cute. That was for, yeah. for sure. But uh, he was uh, uh, he he was walking around the neighborhood, joking and mm -hmm. playing, and then we're a group of uh, three or four 12 year olds, four 12 year olds sort of chasing around after him as yeah. he's walking around. Yeah. Uh, it was, and I've been lucky in my life to have met a lot of different folks mm -hmm. because of just, well, both just because of my job, here. my former job, mm -hmm. yeah. television reporter, uh, mm -hmm. but also because of my father sort of making it a point of saying, well, you need to just go up and say hello. Yeah. And you don't have to. You don't have to bug the people, but you want to say hello. Yeah. And uh, so I got a chance to meet a lot of different people, and it was fun. I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing. That well, the one thing I've learned, just being different, being a little person too, because I was very shy and intimidated, and I always waited for yeah. people to come to me. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know how they would react or anything. But my dad, you know, said the very same thing. He goes, "You can't wait for that. Sometimes it takes you." Get to out. make the initial absolutely. connection or absolutely. hello absolutely. or smile or something yeah. like yeah, that okay. for them to say oh it must be okay or open that door just a little bit to help them feel a little more comfortable yeah. about something unfortunately that may make them feel uncomfortable yeah. so well and part of it is is just knowing that you're you're not you're not there to create problems for them yeah. you're not asking absolutely. them for anything you're yep. just saying hello and, yep. uh, and that can and that can make a difference too um the um the I you know in the political life really as I was telling her earlier political life oh, there you go okay. you're all set all right all right let me get out of your way there what's what, that the theater yes okay that goes here all right thank you yeah. thank you so much of course thank you. the pan is hot it is very thank very you. cool okay thank you um, so yeah, those are your tortillas in there, and then you just put that stuff in there. So this goes with this? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So you can move me. that. School me. <laughs> Unless you want to use that to lay your tortilla down on it. That's, that's what you might This is what this is for? Okay. You can, yeah. Let me turn this off, because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to get documentation, but...